Hello everybody, this is EEL 3111, Circuits 1 for Electrical Engineer Majors. Today we're going to talk about Passive Sign Convention. Passive Sign Convention is obeyed when the current in the circuit is pointing towards the positive pole of the element in the circuit. When Passive Sign Convention is obeyed, the power in that element is being absorbed. Now, when Passive Sign Convention is not obeyed, meaning that the current is pointing out of the positive pole of the element, um, the power is being supplied. Now let's go through some, a couple of examples so we understand what does it mean when power passive sign convention is obeyed or not. In this four, four examples that we have over here, we have um, the elements that we're talking about are resistors and voltage sources. Now the currents in the circuit have not been drawn yet. So we're gonna just go, go through each of them and explaining what does it mean when it's obeyed and when it's not. For example, here we have a simple circuit of 5 volts going through a resistor into ground. The positive pole of the resistor is drawn on the top of that resistor because it's directly connected to the most, um, the high potential of the circuit, which is 5 volts, and the negative to the lowest potential in the circuit, which is ground. Now, the common way current will flow into that circuit is going in from the, the highest potential to the lowest potential. So we would write the current pointing down. This means is the positive direction of the current, meaning that if we were to write a value, it would be a positive magnitude. So let's say just 2 amps. Now, here we see that current is pointing towards the positive pole of the resistor, and um, it's obeying passive sign convention. What does that mean? That this resistor is absorbing the power in the circuit. Now, what if we say that the current is disobeying passive sign convention? Then we would point current going up, and this 2 amps now would be negative. Why would that current be negative? It would be negative because current, its common way of flowing, is going from the highest potential to the lowest potential. Now, um, we have, in this case, um, passive sign convention will not be obeyed because the current is pointing out of the positive, or, if we were to draw an arrow down here, it needs to obey the same one, it would be pointing into the negative. So you can see that going two different ways. Now let's go into this circuit. These two resistors are in series, but we'll talk about that later. Um, and here we have 10 volts splitting up into two resistors and going into ground. So highest potential, lowest potential, because ground it has zero volts. So from 10 and to 0 volts, current will flow down. So it will flow from the 10 to ground. And since they're in series, although they're going through two resistors, same current will be flowing in the same direction. Now, if we notice, this current is pointing into the positive, and this current is pointing into the positive as well. So they're both obeying passive sign convention, and they're absorbing the power in the circuit. In this case, we have a voltage source. In this case, we have a voltage source. This voltage source has voltage arbitrary called Vs. Now, that Vs needs to have the same magnitude of 1 volt. So we're just going to say that Vs has 1 volt. And that is because of the conservation of energy, going back to physics. But we'll talk about that later. Now, if we want to say where is the current coming out of this circuit, a voltage source behaves like the... Um, the power jack and the wall. So if we're consuming power from that power, um, the power jack, we are plugging into our computers, our TV, our refrigerator, all of those are absorbing the power. So the current needs to come out. So it comes out and voltage sources are known for not obeying passive sign convention because they supply the power instead of absorbing it. But if we were to say that the current is pointing towards the positive sign, then passive sign will be uh, obeyed and the voltage supply would be absorbed. Now, for this last one, we see that we have flipped the voltage supply and now we're talking about negative 3. So VC has negative 3 volts. Now, if we want to say that the voltage, the passive sign convention is being uh, supply obeyed, then the arrow needs to point towards the positive. Now, as we mentioned before, this behaves like 
the power jack in our wall. So the current needs to come out of the positive into our circuit. And that has been all for passive sign convention. Thank you for watching.